Hello, North Miss Saturday. Thomas is here. He's joining us from... <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. You're like a vampire, but with cameras. Ah, is, that, is that your vampire sound? My blood. <laughs> my blood. <laughs> Where's my blood? <laughs> uh, we, uh, we grabbed a quick bite to eat, and now we're playing Suburbia. Uh, it's been a while since Matt and I played it. Thomas has never played it. Um, we've de described it on the vlog before as board game SimCity, and I think that's a pretty apt description. Um, for anyone who's never seen this game before, you buy property either and you make a city. Yeah, either residential, commercial, industrial, etc., and then you start putting together your little city. So we all have different cities doing different things. Um, the goal of the game is to have more people at the end. Uh, I took an early lead, and it was a very bad idea because the more people you have, the more money it costs, and the more money you have to earn, and I was not earning enough money to keep up with that, so I made a bad decision, um, because I didn't read the card. I bought a fancy restaurant, and it says, you earn less income for all restaurants oh, built after this one, and that's all restaurants, aka even the ones that Thomas and Mallory make. I just bought one, by the way. Did you really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You son of a gun, did you? He yeah, fast food, fast food. So you go down. <sighs> It's a wad burger. Yeah. So <laughs> the two, no pickle, dry and cheese. <clears throat> this is the problem. Is spicy that ketchup? I literally everyone can screw me now. Of course the spicy ketchup. Because I thought that it was just my borough, but it's everyone's. And now I'm gonna pay dearly for making a fancy restaurant. Also, I'm making six. I'm happy for you. I'm very happy for you. Give me my two. You. Thank you. Doggone it. <laughs> so the final score, Thomas had 128. I'm a loser. I had 139. Which is honestly miraculous because I ended as far in the negative as possible. Uh, Mallory was off the board at 152. 153? No, 152. 152. 15 plus 137 is 152. I mean, congrats for annihilating the board. Um, I wound up with two bonuses because I had the lowest income and also I built the most residential. Mallory ended with a stack of money. That one. Stack of money and these. You had, oh, you had three. I had my own and then the two from there. Well, good job, Mallory. Thank you. Thomas, you did really good for your first time playing. This game's confusing. I thought for sure I was going to lose because I spent the last two rounds with basically no money. Uh, I also learned very quickly that um, if you don't have income, especially if you have negative income, uh, this game is real difficult. Yeah. I could have played this a lot better, but at least I built lots of residential. Dan, I'm so glad you made it. We have to go eat. Okay, I'm sorry. It's fine. Sorry. It's fine. You you drove from Florida. Yeah, I know. And now Thomas has got to drive back to Florida. But first, we have to eat food. Starcross lovers. Ships passing in the night. Yeah. Bye. Bye. We got hibachi. We got it to go, so we could come back and eat at our uh, table. That's what we did. Because Tom's the guy to leave pretty soon. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Dan, I'm glad you're back home. Me too. It's fun, fun. It's fun to be home? Yeah. I mean, that's true. Thomas, you gotta go home, and it'll be fun when you get home too. It will. My cat. I still haven't met Thomas. I don't even know if people know on the vlog. Thomas has a cat. Occasionally, during Stephen and Friends, <laughs> you may hear a cat. It okay. could be Sagan, okay. but it also could be Bruiser. It could be it's, Venser. It's, it could be Venser, too, yeah. It's more like a Bruiser. Mm -hmm. Bruiser's a loud kitty. He's just got so much to say. <laughs> and, and he and, and, chooses and, to say it. Yeah, yeah, well, he usually, like, will say it as, like, other people are saying things. So, like, he'll hardly never meow in the silence. It's like, true. You know what I mean? Like, it's, like I he, can't ever he, he talks remove over, it. He talks over people, yeah, basically. It's great. Yeah, and, and, and I love it. There's a chance this this month we might get to meet Bruiser, but we're we'll see. We'll also get to meet the moon. The moon will be there. <laughs> Did you say the moon? Yeah, the moon will be there. Thomas, won't the moon be there? Of course, but you can't find out until then. It was extremely good to see Thomas again, and uh, I sincerely hope that we get a chance to see him later this month. I mentioned it before, I believe, but uh, he's having a party, and uh, unfortunately, he lives in Pensacola, which is pretty far away, but we're hoping to attend. It's just going to 
really depend on where we are with work. Um, if we've made a lot of progress and we feel like, okay, yeah, we can do this. Or if it's like, oh crap, we really should not take, you know, three days to, to go down there for the, for the party. So we'll see what happens. Um, it's also good to have Dan back. I know he's excited to be back. And uh, it's Saturday night, so we did do um, a Saturday game night, but we didn't actually record anything. Um, we have a lot in reserve right now, admittedly, but uh, everyone was not really interested in recording stuff, and we had plenty of stuff anyway, and we had a bunch of people out of town, so it was like, all right, we'll, we'll worry about it next week. Uh, right before bed, um, <laughs> over the last few days, I've been a little obsessed with trying to get the lighting just right. Um, we did another, you know, bit of Morning Mario, uh, and I got the, the light a lot better. I think I talked about that yesterday or the day before. Everything's kind of fuzzy. Um, so there's that, uh, which was important. But even though I have myself lit pretty good now, um, I still have to work on lighting the, the green screen behind me. And um, that's what I was trying to figure out. Uh, I was trying to figure out exactly how I wanted to light that, um, how I felt about the studio lights that Mel got for Mal makes when she first started and and how, what what their light output truly is compared to what we can do and then also um, trying to solve the the problem that I pointed out uh, recently about how I had to move the desk out to get these stands back here so I think I may have solved some of those those problems now if I get that figured out I will be very excited to share those results with you guys because um, having desk mounted uh, lights is more convenient because you don't have to have stands behind your desk and move your desk out. So I ordered some stuff that is fairly inexpensive that I think is going to do the trick and I'll take a look at it when it arrives next week and I guess we'll just go from there. And I'm hoping that it's gonna work. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be doing something I haven't done in a while and that is playing magic. It has been a while. I can't remember the uh, can't remember the last magic event I actually went to. But tomorrow is the uh, the debut of um, the Magic 2020 core set, and core set was always one of my favorite sets to play because um, at least while it was current, uh, they would bring it out every year, and they kept a lot of the same cards. So even if you had been away from Magic for a while, you could always return to the core set, and it would feel familiar. Now, I haven't played a core set in a long time, partially because they actually stopped doing it for a few years. Um, but it sounded like a lot of fun. Austin wanted to go, and I was like, yeah, you know, I'll go with you. I think it'll be a good time. So, I haven't played Magic in a bit, um, but still know and love Magic. And uh, of all of the sets that I would possibly play and be able to feel familiar with instantly, core set is definitely number one on that list. So, tomorrow, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do, but I'm going to go play the Magic 2020 core set with Austin, and um, we'll see what happens. Uh, Player's Choice is the one that's doing the uh, pre-release, and it's actually, uh, this is actually the third day of it, tomorrow will be, because, um, you know, it's July 4th weekend in Myrtle Beach, there's a lot of people here, there's a lot of people that come on vacation but still want to play Magic, so they decided to run a, uh, an event Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so we're actually um, doing the, the tail end of this three-day launch weekend, so... Should be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it, and uh, we'll see <laughs> See how rusty I am. I'm hoping to win some, um, but there's always a chance that I'll be like, oh, I lost a lot. We'll find out tomorrow. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's be back tomorrow, shall we?